Sanya, Faculty of BCA Department from Technia Institute of Advanced Studies. Today I am going to represent a lecture on paraffin devices. Let's start now. We will start with the diagram. This is shown in this diagram. Memory, Input, Output, Processor and Storage. Computer is built off from these five inputs. And paraffin devices include input and output devices. Next is what's available for input. Touch means finger, feet, breathe, sound, voice and other sounds, gestures, gaze and brain waves. Next is what is output? Textual information, visual images like photos, diagrams, icons, etc. Moving image, sounds, music, voice, etc. Next is input devices. Input devices which is used by a person to communicate to a computer like shown in this diagram. Output devices displays information from the computer to a person like shown in this diagram. Next is types of input devices. Keyboard, mouse, microphones, digital cameras, scanners etc. First of all we start with keyboard. The most commonly used input device is the keyboard on which data is entered by manually keying in or typing certain keys. A keyboard typically has 105 or 101 keys like shown in this diagram. Next diagram display the all the parts of the and or the dividation of the keyboard like numerical keys, alphabetical keys, special keys etc keys miscellaneous keys the keyboard allows the computer use user to enter words numbers punctuation symbols and special function commands into the computer's memory next is the mouse the mouse is a pointing device which is used to control the movement of a mouse pointer on the screen to make selections from the screen a mouse has one to five buttons. The bottom of the mouse is flat and contains a mechanism that detects movement of the mouse, like shown in this diagram. Next is type of mice: wheel mice and cordless mouse. Wheel mouse contains a rotating wheel which is used to scroll vertically within a text document connects to PS slash 2 port or USB port. Next is cordless mouse. Cordless mouse uses infrared signals to connect to the computer IRDA port. It must be within sight of the receiving port. Next is using the mouse. Mouse buttons enables the user to initiate actions like clicking left, right or double clicking allows the user to select an item on the screen or open a program or dialog box. Next is click and drag. Holding down the left mouse button and moving the mouse enables the user to move objects on the screen. Like shown in this diagram. Pointing device, direct. Let's start with the touch screen. Often used for application with occasionally used for example, bank ATMs, information card source, etc. No extra hardware used for input and for output. Can be precise to one pixel. Good for menu choice. Not so good for other functions. Intuitive to use. Next is touch screen. But tiring if at wrong angle means needs to be 30 to 45 percent from horizontal. Get greasy, zammy, finger can obscure screen. Alternative is use stylist to touch screen or light pen. Next is indirect pointing devices. Need more cognitive processing than direct methods but can be more efficient like mouse, tracker ball, track point, touch pads. Indirect pointing device. There are many other types of indirect pointing device like trackball, trackpad, track point. They take less space on desktop, good in moving environments, for example, car, train, etc. like shown in this diagram. 
Others indirect pointing devices are also available like joystick. The main use of a joystick is to play computer games by controlling the way that something moves onto the screen. Next is microphones. Microphones means speech recognition devices. Use a microphone to talk to your computer. Add a sound card to your computer. Sound cards digitizes audio inputs into 0 and 1 that is binary numbers. A speech recognition program can process the input and convert it into machine recognized commands or input. Next is audio inputs in speech recognition. Speech recognition is a type of input in which the computer recognizes words spoken into a microphone. Special softwares and a microphone are required. Latest technology uses continuous speech recognition where the user does not have to pause between words like shown in this diagram. Next also other examples shown in this diagram. Next is digital camera. A digital camera can store many more pictures than an ordinary camera. Pictures taken using a digital camera are stored inside its memory and can be transferred to a computer by connecting the camera to it. A digital camera takes pictures by converting the light passing through the lens at the front into the digital images like shown in this diagram. Next is scanners. A scanner can be used to input pictures and text into a computer. There are two main types of scanners. First is handheld scanner and flatbed scanner like shown in this diagram. Next is light pen. A light pen is a small pen shaped band which contains light sensors. It is used to choose objects or commands on the screen either by pressing it against the surface of the screen or by pressing a small switch on its side. A signal is sent to the computer which then works out the light pen exact location on the screen. The advantage of a light pen is that it doesn't need a special screen or screen coating. Next is barcodes. A barcode is a set of lines of different thickness that represent a numbers. Barcode readers are used to input data from barcodes. Most product in shops have barcodes on them. Barcode readers work by shining a beam of light on, on the lines that makes up the barcode and detecting the amount of light that is reflected back. Next is output devices. There are many different types of out outputs are available like text output, graphics output, video outputs and audio outputs. Next is output devices engaging our senses. Output devices are peripheral devices that enable us to view or hear the computer's processed data in visual output like text, graphics and video and audio output that is sound, music and sensitizing speech. Next is output devices like monitors, printers, speakers and data projectors. One by one explain the output devices. First is monitors. A monitor is a peripheral devices which display computer output onto the screen. Screen output is referred to as a soft copy and types of monitors are available. For example, cathode ray tube that is CRT and next is liquid crystal devices that is LCD or flat panel like shown in this diagram. First is CRT. CRT means cathode ray tube. Cathode ray tube contains the electronic gun, shoots a stream of electrons at a specified phosphorus coated screen. On impact the phosphorus flares up for a fraction of a second. Electronic gun sweeps across the screen many times a second like shown in this diagram. Next is LCD that is liquid crystal display. One of the several types of flat panel display is liquid crystal display. Forms output by solidifying crystals and backlighting the image with a light source. TV sets are CRT and many desktop monitors use this technology. LCD is a primarily used for laptops and other portable devices like shown in this diagram. 
नेक्स्ट इज वीडियो डिस्प्ले टर्मिनल इन वीडियो डिस्प्ले टर्मिनल फर्स्ट वी इंट्रोड्यूस द टर्म दैट इज पिक्सल पिक्सल मीन्स पिक्चर एलिमेंट दैट इज द स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट ऑफ एन इमेज बेसिकली ए सिंगल डोट ऑन द स्क्रीन नेक्स्ट इज रेजोल्यूशन रेजोल्यूशन मीन्स नंबर ऑफ पिक्सल इन द इमेज कॉमन रेजोल्यूशन साइज इज टेन ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू सेवन सिक्स एट दिस इज द कॉमन फॉर्मेट फॉर ऑल द स्क्रीन बट यू कैन इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज द रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ द स्क्रीन नेक्स्ट इज रिफ्रेश रेट रिफ्रेश रेट इज हाउ ऑफन डे सी आर टी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गन री स्कैन एल सी डी डिस्प्ले डो नॉट यूज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गन सो डो नॉट परफॉर्म रिफ्रेशिंग लाइक शोन इन दिस डायग्राम नेक्स्ट इज प्रिंटर प्रिंटर इज विच इज प्रोवाइड द आउटपुट देर आर मैनी टाइप्स ऑफ प्रिंटर्स आर अवेलेबल फर्स्ट इज इंक चेट प्रिंटर दैट इज लीस्ट एक्सपेंसिव कलर स्लोअर विद ए हायर पर पेज कोस्ट देन द लेजर प्रिंटर नेक्स्ट इज लेजर प्रिंटर लेजर प्रिंटर इज मोर एक्सपेंसिव फास्टर लोअर पेज कोस्ट देन इंक चेट प्रिंटर A printer is a peripheral devices that produce a physical copy or hard copy of the computer output like shown in this diagram. Next is type of printers. I earlier explained the inkjet printer but there is a brief introduction of the inkjet and laser printer. First is inkjet printer also called a bubble jet makes characterized make characters by inserting dots of ink onto paper. letter quality printouts cost of the printer is inexpensive but ink is costly in laser printer works like a copper quality determined by dots per inch produced color printers available expensive initially cost is but cheaper to operate per page next is plotter a plotter is a printer that uses a pen that moves over a large revolving sheet of the paper it is used in engineering drafting map making and sismology next is audio outputs like sound cards and speakers audio outputs is the ability of the computer to output sound two components are needed first is sound cards that plays content of the digitized recordings and next is speaker that attach to sound cards I hope you understand the topic of peripheral devices like share and subscribe technia tv thank you so much